and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. I am Voltage Man 65 and for those who have been waiting patiently for the next Yu-Gi-Oh! game, I am sorry it has taken this so long, but I'm back and let's get started. Pulling out the punches. Welcome Elite Duelist. My name is Commander Shepard, intergalactic soldier, traitor to America, and the Chancellor of Duel Academy. I know many of you are nervous, but you were all accepted based on your merits. Study hard, duel hard, and play hard to become the next king of games. Congratulations on your acceptance to Duel Academy, man. To make things official, write your name on this document. Alrighty. So your volts. Student, your dorm is Slyther Red. Slifer Red Dorm is next to the bridge leading to the harbor. Your orientation continues there. Good luck! Thanks, Johnny Bravo. Welcome to Slifer Red. I am the headmaster of Slifer Red Boner. And this little buddy is a pharaoh. And I'm Jane and Yuki. <laughs> nice to meet ya. Hi there, I'm Cyrus Truesdale, Jaden's roommate. And I'm John Lee Huffington. I'm like the oldest one here. This guy right here. You couldn't take cartoon stereotype into a more less subtle direction. I mean, this guy is like the freaking love child of Wimpy from the Popeye cartoons and goddamn Chumbly from Pawn Stars. I mean, think about it. Mainly because I've been flunking my classes. Duel Academy has Slyther Red, Raw Yellow, and Obelisk Blue. There are three different dorms. You're assigned to a level depending on your entrance exam score. Looks like you're here in Slyther Red with us. However, there's a test every month to change dorms, so depending on your grade, you may go to a different dorm. If you score really well, you can choose whatever dorm you want. Other than your dorm, you also get a duelist title. The title has different ranks, Apprentice Duelist, Novice Duelist, Average Duelist. The top rank is King of Games. Only one person in the entire school can get that rank. <laughs> yeah, we don't need two kings in one school. Unless you're the Richard Simmons School of Homosexual Dueling. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, if you know what I mean. There's anything wrong with that? No, of course not. I mean, it's fine if that's who you are. Absolutely. I mean, I have many gay friends. My father's gay. Look, I. I'm gonna be king of games like tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and, and the, the next, next day. day, and the next day. <laughs> yeah, if anyone become king of games, Jaden, I think it'll be you. I don't think I know. I know I'll be king of games. At Chuck E. Cheese. I guess so. <laughs> uh, but like to become king of games. There's more to it than just winning lots of duels. There's like a bunch of other requirements. Hundreds and thousands of duelists have tried to become the king of games. But it's like totally impossible. Hey, I already said I'm going to be king of games. Didn't you hear me? Becoming King of Games doesn't depend on what dorm you're in. It's all about fulfilling the requirements. In all the years I've been here... Wait, what What do you mean all the years have you been here? You look like you're goddamn 20. If you were here all these years, you look like you'd be frickin' 10. Do they have deans that are 10 years old? Inform me if there are. But no one from this dorm has ever become King of Games. But I sense something special about you. Yes, indeed. Why don't you walk around the school and duel with the other students and collect cards? But in order to do that, you'll have to master the controls. If you don't know the controls, select Tutorial from the menu before you go to sleep. Select it to learn the controls. You can learn how to construct a deck and learn the controls during a duel. If you want, I can explain them to you. What do you say? Fuck. No. It's a long ass tutorial. I mean, if you played Sacred Cards and Ratio, if you'll know what you're doing, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, not repairing a truck. So if you don't know the control select tutorial, you ought to remember that. I'll see you tomorrow. In your sleep. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed. 
Time to start school. Yay! Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's time for today's lesson. Let's begin with field spells. Alexis, can you explain to uh, can you explain to the class? It's called Wingardium Leviosa. Unlike, sorry, my computer does that. Unlike normal spells, field spells are placed on the field spell zone. That's Alexis Rhodes. Sorry. That's Alexis Rhodes. That's Alexis. <laughs> she won the best duelist in Obelisk Blue. Make that the entire school. Lots of Obelisk Blue students come from the best middle school dueling academies. They get the top grades in everything. Man, I wish I was that smart. Anyway, it doesn't matter what dorm we're in, we all take classes together. I already told you yesterday, but there's a test once a month to change dorms and... Phew that! What are you whispering about? Can the share with the entire class? The... the... No. You and that pipsqueak. If you don't care to learn, I suggest you leave. I'm sorry, sir. Won't happen again, sir. Aw, oh, man. That was the worst. In fact, didn't I hear that guy was a prick in the series? Let me know if I'm right. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you something yesterday. I got some time before the next class, so I'll teach you how to use your PDA. You can use your PDA in your room at night or whenever you're going somewhere. You know, the strip club. While moving, use your PDA by pressing start. With your PDA, you can edit your deck or trade your cards. You can also check your schedule or your grades. You can- you- you- you test- I'm sorry. What does that say? You test dates are on the schedule. Oh my god, it's already the beginning of this game, and There's already a grammar error. I mean, it's a children's card game, not a children's grammar error performance. You, sir, earn a C plus for goddamn this is crap plus. Oh, one more thing. You can use your PDA to send mail to people you meet in Duel Academy. To request a duel via mail, all you have to do is select your opponent and date on the mail screen. Oh, oh, oh I forgot one more thing. Man, what's with my noodle? If you wish to stop playing, make sure you save. Select save on your PDA to record your progress. Save before, before switching the power off. Remember, remember, remember. You don't know how many times I panic when I know I forgot to save my first time. Ah, look at the time. Let's get to our next class. You can now send mail to Jade and Yuki. And Cyril Figgis. And fuck him, I'm not sending him any goddamn mail. Come on guys, you have to pay attention in class. Whoa man, it's Alexis. Hang out after class, not during, or even better, the weekends. That way, you can chill in different places on the island. That's much more interesting than the classroom. Since there are no class on Saturday or Sunday, you can go anywhere on the island. You should find opponents to duel during the weekend, too. It's smart to buy card packs at the shop to strengthen your deck. All I'm saying is the weekend is the time to play, not during class. Oh man, Alexis talked to me. Oh man, don't look at my pants. But I think she talked to you more than she did to me. Anyway, to buy card packs at shop, you need dual points. You have dual points, right, Volts? What the fuck are you talking about? What? You don't? Oh man, that's no good. You won't be able to improve your deck. All I see are black clouds, man. Black clouds! What weed have I been smoking? Oh, I know. You should go see Professor Boner. I bet he can help you out. Hello, hello, Volts, if I am not mistaken. Your family sent you some money. I've been holding it for you. What the hell, you creep? How'd you get my credit card number? Have you been buying porn without me? Give me the porn, man. I swear to God. Don't worry, I didn't steal any of it. Here you go, all 3,000 DP of it. Yay! 
put that shit on a Christmas card. Congratulations, you earned DP. Now go buy some shit. DP or dual points? Use them to buy card packs at shop. You can gain DP by defeating opponents in a duel. You'll find people to challenge all around campus. When you're ready, duel many opponents and gain lots of DP. However, d don't waste your DP. Use them wisely. Oh yeah, like once the great, the once the great Confucius said, use your goddamn DP. It'll save you in some shit. Yeah, forget everything. Forget logic. Welcome to shop. And here's the problem already. You don't name your goddamn card shop shop. I mean, I can take things like card game shop, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Academy card shop, or fuck it, here's some cards. I would have taken that anyway. It's crude, but effective, but goddamn it, anything but goddamn shop. Here at shop, you can buy packs with the DP you acquired in your duels. You can also input passwords to get cards. We don't always sell the same packs. It all depends on the time of your year, your rank, the cards you own, and a bunch of other factors. Like your economic standing, like the capitalists do it. We get new packs every Tuesday, so make sure you get here before we sell out. Shop is closed on Sundays, therefore if you want cards, make sure to come on Saturday. Shop will always have our grand opening this weekend, so come back then. See you then. <laughs> See you in your dreams, bitch. Tomorrow is Saturday. And you skip Friday because of that? Why the fuck would you skip Friday? Why would anyone want to skip Friday? I don't want to skip Friday. Alrighty, so the prologue's done, so... In short... All we have to do... Well, this is pretty much like... I... Well... Sorry. Let me get started. This game, from what I've heard, is like Persona, but Yu-Gi-Oh style. Which is nice, so... Like Persona, you're gonna move around different environments and interact with other people. But in this case, you're interacting with other people to get duels out of them. It's the only way to advance plot in Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey Bolt, you're just in time for a duel. What do you say? It's the only way to move this goddamn plot. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Even my partner's anxious to duel you. So yeah, you gotta flip a coin to make sure if you go first or not. And I go first. Because Two-Face said so. Hit your tails, bitch! So yeah, if you've seen me play Sacred Cards or Reshuffle Destruction, this ain't too different. I mean, you're dueling opponents as always, you're defeating their life points, summoning monsters, trap cards, blah de blah de blah but instead of Reshef and Sacred Cards, you're not interacting with the world like moving an avatar, you're just moving around like text-based and stuff. So yeah, I know you guys have been waiting for another Yu-Gi-Oh! game, and I'm sorry it kind of took a while to, but... I mean... I mean, I know you guys really love Yu-Gi-Oh, but I kind of want to take a break once in a while from games I do. Like, I don't do Sly Cooper, like, back-to-back. -back. I end up taking, like, a little break from them. Plus, Free Chef was a little too difficult for its own good, and it kind of made me frustrated, and once, it, once I got that done, I was like, I need a break from it. But, it's alright, I guess. I mean, I'm back now, and I've been kind of wanting to get back into it. Ah, you suck. I hate you, Jaden. I hate you. Uh, it's alright, I guess. So yeah, I'm not too familiar with the GX series. I've only been interested in the main series. I think the problem was... While I was... I was, like, dying down my Yu-Gi-Oh! phase during the time, uh... GX was beginning, and I didn't take interest into it. So 
so that's kind of why. Wait a second. Where did the life points go? Why didn't it work? Ugh, forget it. Um, never mind. I'll just end my turn. Well, yeah, from what I'm not too familiar with GX, all I know is that it's a spin off set in like the future of the main series. And it's pretty much like the same thing as the plot of season one of the original series, where they're just training and dueling to be the very best. But instead of Duelist Kingdom and Pegasus, it's just like dueling school. I mean, I do have to watch the series. I'm, I was thinking about it, like, after I do this first episode, I might check it out and stuff. I mean, I heard good things about it, so I don't think it'll be too bad. Ah, god damn it. Uh, I can't do a thing, so just, just get him. Just kill me. Alright, I kind of need another monster, so I gotta... Forget it. Uh, no, I that I'm not summoning Wing Karibo. Uh, screw that, yo. So I've been going more into the lore of Yu-Gi-Oh GX. I've been. Like, I haven't seen, like, the actual episodes, but I've been just getting, like, a basic summary of it, and I heard that, like, the dorms and stuff, like, Slyther Red and all that, Raw and Obelisk is, like, a freaking ranking system in dorms. Like, if you could say Obelisk Blue is, like, the Four Seasons, then Slyther Dorm is, like, the goddamn Bates Motel. And I just want to know, who is the goddamn biased asshole who made that ranking system? He has to be like some sort of prick or something. Actually, I don't want to... Oh, wait. I do want... To activate this. Just in case this guy dies, because... Oh wait, he's not fire, is he? Ugh. Doesn't matter. Oh crap. Son of a bitch! Ugh. I hate you, yo. Oh, I can special summon anything I want. And I am going to... Let's see. Shoot, what should I do? I mean, if I put him in defense mode, they can't do anything. But if I summon her, I can use the spear. Nah, screw it. We'll, we'll see if we can get rid of this thing. Oh, fuck. Well, not like it was going to, like, do anything, I guess. God damn it. Yeah, 
you know, I think with the Chimera, he raises his attack once he's been placed on the field, and I think he raises the attack of all the other monsters as well. Skyscraper, that's just like a field thing. Stupid ass bullshit. Ooh, Monster Incarnate, let's, let's do it. I'm not gonna need that. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's do Lady of the Flames. Then I can power her up, then I can whoop his ass. Oh. My. God. How did you get that again? You selfish bastard. You. Motherfucker. You. Piece of shit. Mmm. <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna have to attack you again, I guess. Whatever. Oh, he's powered up. And you take damage, you selfish bastard. Oh, I'll need you. Can I use you? Nope. Well, I gotta have something, so I unfortunately gotta give him some freaking. Oh damn it! That was useless. Forget it. In fact, forget it. Just go. You're full of crap, Cyril. Yeah, direct attack in the putt talks. My ass. <laughs> I'm Jaden Yuki. And I'm gonna get hit by the Tribute of Doom. I do not need polymerization. So long, sucker. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot. I have Magic Jammer, too. See, you ain't the only one with some cheap ass tactics. And that gets rid of his magic card, and he is left crying like a little bitch. Huh, oh, I'm Jaden Yuki, and I didn't see that one coming. Oopsie doodly doos. Do it. You ain't harming me none. You know what? I kind of like this in regards... I kind of like this game compared to, um, Reshef so far. Like, Reshef was challenging, but there was points where it was, like, frustratingly challenging. But this game, it's got, like, a decent amount of challenge, too. And from what I've played, like, before this, there's no goddamn dual limit. Like, you can only have a certain amount of cards based on, like, level and stuff, and the majority of your deck was just weak-ass cards. But you can have any card you want in this game, and I love it. That's enough proof to get me to like this a lot better than Reshef. Anything like that is enough to get me better than Reshef. Because as difficult as Reshef was, what the hell are you doing? As 
I mean, if the difficult of Reshef suits you, that's fine, but it was like, it ranged from like hard to ball busting torture. It sucked. Ah, crap. Eh, forget it. No way! I'm sorry, I'm a Elemental Hero Spark, man. I'm Jaden Yuki, and 2 plus 2 equals goddamn 6. What's this? Hey, I wanted to see what it does. Ooh! I'm doing it. He's got nothing on the field. I'm doing it. Man, that's awesome. I can just eliminate him right now. <laughs> well, I'm Jenny Yuki, and I didn't see that coming from a thousand miles away. My intelligence is a thousand miles away from my brain. But we got some DP that we can spend in the car shop later. Oh shucks, I'm Jaden Yuki and I lost. But great duel, buddy. We'll get our game on again. I don't want to get my game on with you ever again. You stay out of my bedroom too. Alright, so I'm going to end it off here because that prolong was long as hell. It did not need to go that long. So I'm going to go to my room and I'm going to go to sleep because I'm tired. So tomorrow is Sunday. But first, I gotta save. Yeah. Hoo hoo hoo, I gotta save. And I'm gonna go to bed, guys. So, I hope you like this part of Yu-Gi-Oh! I hope you guys will stick with me through this, and I hope I did a good job for you guys. If you're interested, just let me know. I'll be glad to continue this series, which I'm already gonna do, but... So anyway, this is the first part of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy and Bolchman 65. And I'll see you guys later.